what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i'm trying to churn out as much content as i can at the moment as you guys know as i've told you that um you know things have been kind of getting back to normal around here um so i will have to things are going to be a little scarce for a little while until i can get back things in order with my business okay so um for vikings man we're here with season six episode three today i'm not planning to do more than one but if it's fire if it's good of course i will do a second um i know a lot of people is out there waiting on me to start the last kingdom because i told you guys that once i catch up with vikings i will start <clears throat> to watch the last kingdom now you know, I don't know when I'm going to finish Vikings. Hopefully we can get it done. The get um, the rest of these episodes, these eight episodes. Hopefully we can get them done by the end of this month. Um, you know, we'll see how things go. If it's a, you know, right now Vikings is is not really impressing me, but you know, I'm giving it a chance. The second episode of the season was was good it wasn't anything great but it was good you know it was better than the first episode um somebody also informed me that both those episodes were premiered at once now that makes a whole lot of difference i wish somebody had told me i would have just watched it in, in its completion because i think they structured it in a way where you had to watch those two hours in succession to really to really enjoy what they were trying to do for those two episodes so um i did not go back and watch both of them you know back to back but i do understand what you guys were trying to say still doesn't make the um episode one and episode two goes together because it's a flow of story it's a flow of story and i get it i really do i really do get it i skimmed through it a little bit i didn't watch the whole thing back to back but i can see where it would have been better if i watched both of them together now we're going to be watching this episode so let's go see what ivar is up to what B um bjorn has decide d decided to go and help king harold so um there's a lot of things going on still want to know what really happened to floki there's no confirmation on his death um bjorn has decided to go and find out what happened to floki after he helps king harold um he invited um i can't remember his name right now but you guys know who i'm talking about the guy that came from that far off land where floki is where you know basically killed everybody because the cycle of you know death and hatred and revenge and all of this other stuff just keeps going no matter where you go and i think there's a lesson to be learned there also so in all it's in all its goodness i'm happy for this season it seems like two guys is about to attack lagatha so let's go see what's happening in this series and then i will let you guys know what's happened later see you guys for the review All right, so season six, episode three, very good episode. I should say the story continues a lot, showed a lot about, you know, where they're taking the series and, you know, Lagatha having to dig up back her sword because these guys that got kicked out, Ivar's men with the brand, they decided to go to the village and rape all the women and take, take, killed uh, what they killed their sons i think they said they said they killed their sons and freaking took the the you know livestock it's <laughs> when it comes on to this to this series they never usually take long to get to the story i think so far this season is really taking its time to get to where we are supposed to go um 
so Bjorn decided to attack King Olaf, trying to get back King Harold, but King Harold is in a bad shape. That man has gotten the short end of the stick for the entire time he's been on this show. I can't remember a time when King Harold got a got a win. He, <laughs> you know, if it's not with one of Ragnar's sons, he doesn't get W's. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This man has been shafted so many times in this series, it's ridiculous. Like, I think it's going to end and he's not going to get a W. It's either that or he's going to end up on the throne at the end, you know. But I don't see that happening, you know. So, I do want to see where they're taking this, um, where they're going with it. Vitzerk is just in a bad space. I don't know what to say about this guy. You know, he's just going through a serious mental issue right now. He's been hurt. You know, he's hallucinating. You know, um, I do not trust Prince Oleg. I don't trust him. I don't think Ivar should trust him either. I don't trust him. I think he wants to extend his kingdom and he's playing Ivar for the fool. Because, you know, for what reason why he would take Kattegat and give it to Ivar? Why would he do that? You get what I'm saying? Like anybody that's in that kind of leadership position, why would you do that? Why would you take over another place and then hand it to, to, to somebody else? That's not how things used to go. Maybe today you might find somebody soft enough to do something like that. But back in the day, nope, ain't nobody doing that. I'm trying to extend my kingdom, right? So... I don't see that happening at all. <laughs> I really don't. But in any case, just in case that does happen, you know, it is what it is. But I don't see it happening. I think uh, Prince Oleg is playing Ivar for the fool. That's my theory on things. Um, the situation that's going on with Bjorn, I don't, you know, Bjorn is just, he's just going to sleep all over the place. That's just who he is, who he has been, I swear, Bjorn must have slept with every woman that has ever been in this show that has been, came up as a major character, whether it be for a short time or for a long period of time, remember now, remember, you know, Bjorn slept with, um, Alfred's wife before she became his wife, he slept with her. He slept with her, right? He has slept with literally almost every woman that had ever, ever shown interest in him. It's just crazy. He's worse than Ragnar. <laughs> like, he's just on a different level when it comes on to sleeping around. And, you know, I never took him serious when he would, when they were talking about this love, 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 love stuff. You know what I'm saying? I never took him serious because... Anytime I say, man, that's a womanizer. No matter you, you can't believe nothing that comes out of their mouth when it concerns um, relationships. You just can't. You can't take a womanizer. I'm not saying womanizers can't change, but it is not an easy thing to change somebody who sleeps around, regardless of if they're man or they're woman. It's not easy. It's not an easy decision for them to make. For them to change that about themselves, because you know. One is never enough. It's just never enough. Maybe for a little while, but as soon as something shows interest, someone I should say, as soon as someone shows interest, they're ready to get down. They might refuse at first, but eventually they will give in. It's kind of like sleeping around is, is kind of like an addiction, okay? And I'm not saying this from experience because I don't sleep around, you know, I don't sleep around, never had, never, you know, never will, you know, because I do, because my, I have, I have two brothers that sleep around, right? And they didn't really make up their mind to really eat. And that's if, cause I don't, I, I'm not sure if one of them 
has really settled down. You know what I'm saying? Like my closest brother to me um, that I talk to, you know, almost every day, you know, um, you know, he has a kid now. You know, he's he's up there in the he's up there in the age, but I'm I'm not sure that he settled down. You get what I'm saying? I'm not sure because he's not married. He's living with someone, but I'm not sure he settled down. You know what I'm saying? So, um, as I said, man, a womanizer will always be a womanizer. It's very hard. It's a hard thing for them to settle down because, as I said, it's like a it's like an addiction. You know, they might refuse for a week or a month, you know what I'm saying? But catch them in the right position, you know, they they, they going to pull, pull out, every, they, they going to pull out, you know what I'm saying? So, um, it's the same thing with Bjorn, you know, Bjorn is a womanizer. He has been that the entire show. He might get married, but who cares? Let's marry another one. Let's wife another one let's you know what i'm saying let's sleep with this one or that or, oh you want some of it too oh i'll give it to you too <laughs> you know what i'm saying so that's where it is with bjorn um so it's not out of his character you know this is what he's been doing i don't agree with it i don't like that he does that or i don't like that he's doing that to his queen you know um but that's just what it is. That's who he is. He's not out of character or anything like that. Still love him as a character. Regardless, now he's in a pickle. What is he going to do now? He's been defeated by Olaf. What is he going to do now? He's going to come up with another strategy. All right, I'm waiting to see it. But in any case, still need to know what happened to Floki. Still waiting for that. So we'll see how things progress from now on in the series but i'm enjoying it i'm enjoying it i have to say they've really picked things up um you know from the first episode or you know as i said before if i had watched both of those together probably would have had a better context or a better rating or a better reaction to the first episode because i can see now where they're leading the story to go the story has direction now you get what I'm saying? It has direction. It's not all over the place. There is a direction to where um, the story is going for the season. Mind you, I've said before that I've, you know, this is probably the slowest starting season of Vikings. It has to be, in my opinion. Usually by the second or third episode, we're in the thick of things. We already know what's going on. It's a continuation of story. This season kind of seems like a brand new story going on in Vikings. Some things, they're referring to the new, but it kind of feels very new. It feels like a new and different timeline in the story. You get what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do next, of course. So I'll see you guys for the next one. Anyways, like the video, leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new. We're about to start the Last Kingdom. So if you're if, if you're a fan of the Last Kingdom, subscribe now. You know, so you know when I once I catch up, once I finish these ten episodes, we're gonna jump into the Last Kingdom sooner or later. Okay, so thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.